everybody, it's Shannon with The Yoga Venture and today I have a chair yoga class. In this class, we will not be getting up out of the chair at all. And so if that's not accessible for you to stand up and sit down, this class is perfect because you can do all of it just sitting down in your chair. We'll do gentle stretches, gentle strength work to help get our body moving and loosening up as much as we can. So we're going to start with our hands on our knees and try to sit up really tall. So use your back muscles to help lengthen your spine. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. And we'll start with some gentle neck stretches. You'll take your ear and you'll drop your right ear over to your right shoulder. That same side right hand will go up over your ear and you're gently going to press down to get a little extra stretch. You want to feel the stretch on the side of your neck here. Your face should be turned forward and your shoulders relaxed. Big inhales and full exhales. One more inhale, exhale. Release your hands, lift your head back up to the middle and we'll go to the other side. Drop your ear over towards your left shoulder Keep those shoulders down away from your ears. Your left hand comes up and over. You're not going to yank on your head or your neck at all. Just use the little extra weight of your hand to stretch a little bit deeper. This is really good for stretching out your trapezius muscle on the top of your shoulder and also through the side of your neck. It's a, lot, um, it's a place where a lot of people hold tension and tightness. So getting a nice stretch there feels really, really good. One more breath, inhale, exhale, and then release your hands, lift your head back up to the middle, perfect. And now we'll move our head up and down, so chin will go down to the chest, exhale, inhale, lift your head, look to the ceiling, exhale, look down, inhale, look up. Keeping your back tall and long the whole time. Exhale, look down. Inhale, look up. One more time. Exhale, look down. Inhale, lift and look up. Come back to the middle. Take your head all the way around in a circle, starting to the right. You'll drop your ear over to your shoulder, and then the chin will come down to the chest. We'll turn the head over towards the left shoulder, and then lift the head all the way up and back. Look at the ceiling as you roll your head back to the first side, down to the chest, over to the left, up and over the back. One more time, circle. To the right, to the center, to the left, up and over. All the way around, chin will end to your chest. Lift the head back up to the middle. Let's do that on the other side. Starting to the left, head drops to the left. Drop the chin to the chest, over to the right, and lift up and around. To the left, down, chin to chest, to the right, and up and back. One more time. To the left, to the center, to the right, up and around. All the way, so your chin will end down to your chest, and then lift your head up, sitting nice and tall. Now you'll stack your hands on top of each other, making a square, and we're going to twist to the right from your waist. Twist to the right, and then twist back to center. Twist to the left, and back to center. To the right, to the middle, to the left, and to the middle. Again, twist to the right and to the middle. Take the ribs with you and twist from your rib cage and center. Right and center and left and center. One more time to each side. To the right and to the center. To the left and center. Release the arms back down. Lift your shoulders to your ears. Roll your shoulders back and down, making big circles. 
releasing out your shoulders. Trying to work out any tension and tightness, really like you're putting oil in those joints so that they can move more fluidly. One more circle. And now reverse, start going to the back and circling the shoulders up to the ears and then forward. Back, around, and forward. And back, around, and forward. To the back, lift, and lower. One more time, back, lift, lower. Inhale, your arms will go out to the side and then drop them right down the middle. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up. Touch the palms. Exhale, back down through the middle. Again, inhale, lift, stretch. Exhale, lower down. Two more. Inhale, lift and stretch. Exhale, down to the middle. Last time, inhale, lift, stretch, get tall. Exhale, back to the center. Release the arms down. Side stretch, we'll start the same way that we just did. Inhale, lift the arms up, big stretch. Exhale, your right hand will come down to the side. You can even place it on the chair. And then you're going to stretch right to the side. Reach that arm up and over your head. Take a stretch over to the right. Try not to let your shoulders come forward. Stack them on top of yourself. So your body is right up on itself and you're getting a really nice stretch through your side body or your quadratus lumbar, which run around along the back side of your spine. And lift back up. Good. Again to the other side. Inhale, lift the arms, stretch overhead. Now take the left arm down and the right arm over to stretch over. Reaching over to the left, stretching out the left side body. Again, we don't want to be forward. We want to stay with those shoulders stacked. And then let your head release and hang so you get a deeper stretch. Always practicing your inhale and your exhale, keeping the breath long and full and as relaxed as possible. Inhale, you'll lift yourself all the way back up. Allow that arm to come down. Good, you're doing great. We'll take a seated cat cow. Hands onto the knees, and we'll lift the sternum up to the ceiling as we arch through the spine. I will turn to the side so you can see what's happening in my back a little better. You'll lift your chest. Arch your back, take a big stretch, inhale. Exhale, we reverse this shape, curl and round, pushing through our shoulder blades and tucking the pelvis under. Inhale, lift, stretch, look up. Exhale, curl round. Inhale, lift, look up. Exhale, curl and round it out. Getting as much motion through your back body as possible. Inhale, open your chest, look up. Exhale, round the spine, curl in. One more, inhale, lift and look up. Exhale, tuck, curl. And lift back to center. Sit up really tall, stacking those shoulders, letting them drop away from your ears. I'll turn back to the front. We will take gentle forward folds. Our back is going to try to stay in this long shape. So we don't want to have any curling through our spine if possible. We want to sit up as tall as we can. And then this is going to stay in the same position and we'll fold forward with the long back. Try to lift yourself back up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift your spine back up. Creating as long a line as you can. Almost like your spine is getting taller as you stretch forward and back up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. One more time, exhale, fold. 
Inhale, lift back up. Sit up tall, tall, tall. Getting longer and longer and longer through the whole spine. I'll turn back to the front. Sitting up really tall, we'll stretch out through our shoulders and our arms with a position called eagle arms. Start with your right arm. It will bend right in front of you. Your left hand will wrap around the bottom of your arm. And you'll either try to pull this arm towards, or if you can, you'll touch the inside of your palm with your fingers. And then you want to separate your shoulder blades on the back side. I'll turn so you can see this. So instead of squeezing the shoulder blades together, we really want to pull the shoulder blades apart and stretch through the middle back. So we'll hold that here, pulling the shoulder blades away from each other and moving the elbows out away from your body. Stretching through your shoulders and your mid back. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Unwind your arms and release them down. And now we'll do that on the other side so we can stay balanced. Your left arm comes forward. Your right arm will loop down and around and you'll either come to touch the back side of your hand or you'll wrap it in. See if you can get the fingers to the palm. Spread your shoulder blades apart. Pull your elbows from your body and hold it here sitting tall and practicing that belly breath. Breathing all the way down into your belly, allowing your belly to inflate on your inhale and then sink down on your exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Last time. Inhale. And exhale. Release the arms. You can shake and roll those shoulders out to release them out a little bit. And sit up nice and tall. Now we'll move a little bit into our feet. Our feet are planted down on the mat or on the floor. You'll lift your heels, coming onto your toes, and then lower down. Lift to the toes and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Two more. Lift and lower and lift and lower. Opposite. Now we're going to pull the toes up and rock back to our heels. Lift the toes and lower them down. Lift your toes and lower them down. Pick the toes up and release. Flex the feet as the toes pull up and lower down. Flex and lower and flex and lower. Two more. Up and down and up and down. Very nice. Let's keep working on those legs a little bit. You can take your hands and just place them on the chair beside you for a little support. And we'll try to lift our right leg up in the air. Just lifting, keeping your back from sinking in. See if you can lift your leg and hold it for three, two, one. Lower it down. Switch sides. Lift the right leg. Switch sides, lift the left leg, keep sitting tall, hold three, two, one, lower down. Back to the first side, right leg lifts, hold it, three, two, one, lower down, switch to the left, pick up the left, hold it, three, two, one, lower down. Again, back to side one, lift, three, two, one, and lower. Last time on your left leg. Three, two, one, and lower down. Perfect. Stretch your right arm up to the ceiling. You'll reach right arm, you'll reach left arm, then your right arm's gonna come forward, 
Your left arm comes forward. Right arm to the ceiling. Left arm to the ceiling. Right arm to the front. Left arm to the front. And right up. Left up. Right forward. Left forward. Right up. Left up. Right forward. Left forward. And up. Up. Forward. Forward. Up. Up. Forward. Forward. Right. Left. Right. Left. Last time. Right. Left. Right. Left. And release the arms down. You can roll those shoulders up. We're going to try to combine some of these movements where we reach and lift the leg at the same time. Hands will come over your head, fingertips will touch, your elbows will be bent and opened out to the side. You'll try to clap your hands under your right leg as you lift, clap, and lift back up as you lower the leg. Other side, lift the left, see if you can clap under it, and lift. If you can't clap under it, you can just lift the leg and clap in front of you like this. But if you can, Get your hands all the way under the leg, go under, and then lift back up. Under, and lift back up. Right, overhead, and left, overhead. Working on some strength through your core to lift, some stretch with the arms, and some coordination all at the same time. Right, back overhead, lift left and go under, and overhead. One more on each side. Right. Stretch. And left. And stretch. And lift the arms. Or lower the arms back down. Excuse me. Let the shoulders relax. Good work. The last thing that we do before our cool down is going to be some seated jacks. So instead of lifting the leg, this time we'll tap it to the side. We'll start just with our legs. Reach the right leg. See if you can tap it to the side and then come back in. And the left leg, tap to the side and come back in. Right leg and back in and left leg and back in. Just reaching the leg out to the side. If the leg doesn't get straight, that's okay. Just tapping it out side to side, right? Back to center, left, back to center and right to center and left to center one more time right and center and left and center let's see if we can add the arms to that so like a jumping jack the arms are going to go overhead and then close back down we'll start by tapping the leg to the side the arms reach up tap and then they come down as your legs come together do the other side tap it out and lower down. Right and center. As your leg stretches out, your arms go overhead and down. And right and center and left and center. And right and center and left and center. Reaching out, closing in, stretch and open, close it together. Stretch and open to the right, close it together, to the left, and let's do one more on each side. To the right, back to center, to the left, and back to center. So nice. Place your hands back on your thighs, check on your posture. Are you sitting up nice and tall? We'll go back to that cat and cow. Inhale, lift your chest, arch your spine, look up. Exhale, round the spine as you pull everything back and round and curl. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, tuck, curl. Inhale, lift, look up. Exhale, curl and round. Inhale, stretch, open your front body. Exhale, open your back body as you press it back. One more. Inhale, arch, look up. Exhale, tuck and round. 
Come back to center, stacking up nice and tall once again. I'll turn back to the front. Stretching through our arms and a little through our chest, we'll cross our arms in an X behind our back. I'm going to turn so you can see what the arms look like behind my back. You can just stay seated. My right arm will go behind and then my left arm is going to cross over it. And I'm going to really work to pull my shoulders open. So rather than rounding like this, I'm trying to sit up tall and pull my shoulders back. And I'll hold that for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let your arms release and come down. Let's do the opposite side. Your left hand will go first. Your right hand will cross on top. Pull your shoulders together by squeezing right up here in between your shoulder blades, sitting up really tall, and hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Release your arms, let them come back down. Beautiful. Our cool down, just take some shoulder rolls. Lifting your shoulders up to your ears and then dropping them down and around. Making as big of circles with your shoulders as you can. Rolling out, releasing. Stretching is so nice for helping your body to get rid of stress and tension. Even if it's really gentle, it will do a lot of good for your mind and your body. Let's change direction, go back to front, circling back, and then rolling the shoulders forward. Back and around, back and around. Oh, doesn't this feel nice? I always love to do this. It's nice to do it when I wake up in the morning, just to help start getting some blood flow through my body, get it a little bit warm and less stiff. Our bodies get really stiff when we sleep. And then release it down. Let's take a big head roll all the way around to the right. Drop the head to the right, chin to the chest, over to the left, up and around, looking to the ceiling, back to the right, and then chin to chest. Reverse, roll to the right, lift the head up and around, take the ear to the left shoulder, and then chin to chest, and sit up nice and tall. Place your hands together in a prayer, sitting up nice and tall. Take a big inhale through your belly. Filling your belly, expand like a balloon as you inhale. Exhale, let the air come out slowly. Two more, just like that. Inhale, fill your balloon. Exhale, let it out. One more time, inhale. Beautiful, thank you for practicing with me today. The more you move, the easier it will become. And it doesn't have to be anything really strenuous or difficult to have benefits for your body. So see if you can find ways to get movement in every single day. And I hope that you feel more relaxed and released. And I hope to see you again another time. Thank you, namaste.